Hey bakers, today I'm gonna to show you how to use Russian piping tips to make buttercream flowers. These piping tips are, first of all, giant, but they also pipe things en masse. No need to worry about individual petals. It'll pipe the whole flower at once. This is the first time I'm using them, so I thought it'd be fun to do a tutorial and learn with you. Okay, let's get started. There are tons of Russian piping tips, and there's actually a whole separate variety called balloon tips. Those are the kind that I wanna try next, but these jumbo mega piping tips will do almost anything you can imagine from piping flowers to sets of petals to nice patterns that you can use to decorate cakes. Let's choose a few that look more interesting. This guy seems kind of fun. This one will be like a cool rose. I wanna do some flowers, so we're gonna make that happen. I'll start with these and we'll see how it goes. Into the box. All right. These are the most moist and delicious vanilla cupcakes you've ever had. Click up here if you want to make a batch, but today's all about decorating. And what I'll be decorating with is my Swiss meringue buttercream. You can click up here for that. It is just the best type of buttercream for decorating because it is silky smooth, razor sharp, and pretty stable. Something to remember about any meringue-based buttercream is that it will lose consistency completely if you let it hang out for a bit. But don't let that dissuade you. All you have to do is give it a really quick 30-second whip and it comes back to life in an instant. A little bit of buttercream for everybody. So Russian piping tips are really cool because you just like pipe a whole entire flower, but the thing is that you have to have a nicely colored flower. You're in charge of the color, so you gotta do a good job. And they look best when you're using multiple colors. So, open my box of crayons <laughs> and choose some colors. I think we'll have a little bit of green for the leaves. Ooh, a coral, that's nice. And maybe like a sherbet orange, some soft pink, and yellow. That's a good starting point. We could also do some purple. If you don't like using food coloring, there's tons of different alternatives. So instead of green, dye, you could add in a little bit of green matcha powder, and that'll give you like a really nice soft pastel color. But in the meantime, you can see just that couple seconds of whipping and it's nice and silky now. Did I mention how huge these piping tips are? This is a Russian piping tip. This is like a regular medium tip. So you can see you're gonna have to snip a much bigger hole. Don't worry about filling these up with a ton of buttercream. You don't want to do that, actually. Pop it in there. Let's take a look. Push it on through. There we go. Nice. Okay, so filling these is going to be something you want to pay attention to. Pop it into a glass. That'll be the easiest way. And now, choose like probably the darker color. Here, I'll choose a pink. And just paint the inside of the piping bag with that buttercream. So now we're gonna fill it up with a lighter shade of pink so we get a nice gradient. That is the neatest filling job I've ever done. All right, so twist it shut. Let's remove any air gaps you have in there. These are gonna have really pretty flowers, but I'm gonna pipe some leaves in there to fill in the gaps because I don't wanna have blank spaces on my cupcakes. I'm using a 352 tip, which is like a large er leaf tip. All right, now let's add a little bit of green buttercream into that piping bag with the leaf tip, and we're ready to go. To get the cupcake started, I'm adding a really thin layer of buttercream onto the surface. This is just gonna help all those little flowers and leaves stick. When you're using these really soft buttercreams, which you need for Russian piping tips, things can get a little bit messy. So start hovering just above the cupcake squeeze the buttercream out, and once it makes contact with the cupcake, you're gonna keep squeezing while you pull up until you get the desired height. Then, stop squeezing, but keep pulling, and that's it. Repeat the process over and over and over again until the cupcake is completely covered or as covered as you want it to be. It's your cupcake and you can do whatever you'd like. Okay, now it's time to add our leaves on with our leaf piping tip. You can add as many leaves or as few as you want. They don't have to be green. You could add purple leaves in. It's totally up to you. Next, we have this piping tip, which is gonna make like a tulip shape. So definitely gonna have to have the yellow buttercream in there. So once again, we're gonna coat the inside of the piping bag with a thin-ish layer, maybe like a quarter of an inch or so of that purple buttercream 
fill it up with a yellow buttercream in the center and then twist it up and you're ready to squeeze it out. Once again, I coated my cupcake with a thin layer of buttercream and it's time to pipe again. Hover just above that buttercream, squeeze, pipe, pull up, stop squeezing, keep pulling up. The second flower had an issue. I did not make full contact, so part of it did not release properly. No problem, just use a palette knife and scrape it off. Do over and now let's continue covering that cupcake. We're gonna get about seven flowers on here. I tried to squeeze more, but it wasn't really working, so stick with around seven flowers. This time I'm using that beautiful coral color, filling it with yellow, a little bit more vivid this time. I don't know if you can tell. Squeeze it out and look how pretty that is. All right, repeat the process once again. This one is making, I don't know, some kind of uh, a beautiful flower I've never seen before. Has a yellow center too, which is pretty. Add some more leaves on and then you can just repeat the process. I am loving these piping tips. I will not lie to you though, it's taking me a second to get a grasp of exactly how to squeeze and release. All right, now we're gonna try another piping tip. This one is gonna be a beautiful daisy, I think, I'm not sure. Yes, I added some yellow buttercream into the center, but it's gonna take a while for it to pop out. They don't all have to look exactly the same. That yellow eventually came out on the one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth flower. Add some more leaves, and these look kind of like very pretty, similar to flowers, but not really flowers. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> I liked them, they're one of my favorites, even though they are the least flower-like flower tip. My batch of cupcakes is all done. I gotta say they look pretty nice. It's like a springtime explosion on my kitchen counter. This was interesting. It was my first time doing it. I used Swiss meringue buttercream, but I gotta say, I think that is like the, I'm experienced with Russian piping tips. I'm gonna use the best buttercream ever. If you're just beginning, I would recommend you use like a really silky batch of American buttercream. Just add some more cream in there so it pipes really nicely and isn't too crunchy. If you have a special hint for how to make the right buttercream for Russian piping tips, let me know in the comments. I'm all ears and I love hearing from you too. If you like this video, check out my how to make buttercream flowers from scratch. You can make all different kinds of unique flowers and have a perfect touch to your cake. You could also check out my cake compilation video, all decorating, no talking, no me, just the cakes. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Hit that like button and subscribe.